My name is Alison Miller and I'm the L&D manager at, for the Munoz company in the UK. Um, Munoz is a, an international group owned by a Spanish family and we have three business units within the UK. So we provide citrus fruit, grape, flowers, fresh fruit juices and ice creams into all of the major retailers um, in the UK in some shape or form. We have 320 people working for us within the UK, working in all aspects of the business. So they are working with the farmers and the growers and sourcing the products for us, or they may be working in the factory actually packing the fruit on, online. So, you know, a really diverse business and a really diverse array of, of people that need to be managed and need to be motivated on a daily basis. So we started looking at performance management online systems because our system that we had in place was a paper-based system which was really no longer fit for purpose. The company had grown at such a rate that it really didn't suit our needs any longer. We looked at a lot of different systems and we decided that talent, at talent performance met our needs. Um, it's easy to use, it's modern, it's very flexible. We can use it with for people who are working at any level, and it can it can it has really evolved with us. Um, in that we can bespoke it to meet the needs of of, of the different people within the company, um, and it, it has proved to work very well for us. Using the talent performance platform, we've been able to demonstrate to all of our employees how what they do on a daily basis fits in with the strategic objectives of the organisation. So each piece of training that is aligned to them or each objective that is assigned to them and agreed actually is then matched to one of the strategic objectives so that they clearly understand that if they are a quality controller and they're checking the quality of fruit as it arrives, actually that's really integral to us meeting the customer needs, to us meeting our quality needs and to the financial benefit of the organisation as well. So everybody can see how they fit into the picture of Munoz. I think the benefit that we've seen through introducing talent performance is the engagement um, of people and not only achieving their objectives, but obviously, as, as I said earlier, is knowing how they fit into the organisation. But they've, they're, they're more engaged in that they're more likely to go back to their objectives on a regular basis. They can update them. They can see how they're progressing and actually say, actually, I've already met that one. That's great. And talk to the manager and get another one. And I think the, the communication between the managers and the, the, the people working for them is better because they have something formalised that is easy to use and and they can pop into every day to update. And I think that's really quite powerful. It means that they are managing their own performance and their own, really, their own roles within the organisation rather than it being managed for them. And that's quite a powerful tool. And we've also been able to engage with people where English isn't their first language. And we have a lot, lot of people where English isn't their first language working with us. And they're able to now understand it and to see something clear and actually write objectives within their own level of understanding. So it's not all management speak, actually. It's, it's written within their own speak because they can then agree the, those objectives going forward. So it's really been very powerful for us. We've been able to customise talent performance really well to meet the needs of our business. We're in our third year now. The first year we bought in management competencies, um, which went down well with the, the higher level of management, but some of the people within the business found them a bit complex. Um, and it, it, you know, it was a huge step from a piece of paper to an online system anyway, so to then bring in 12 quite, quite large management competencies was quite quite a, a step. So in year two, what we did was we used our Munoz um, competencies that were live in the business anyway, and we built them into the, the competencies, so into the areas that, that people need to 
evidence and match themselves against and for the appraisal conversation. And that's worked really very well because they were alive in the business anyway, so people understood them. People could really connect with them. And the conversations at appraisal and the preparation they had to do was so much easier. The other thing we have done is we started off with a questionnaire for the people in production. Obviously, English is, is quite often not the first language, so the competencies were a bit complicated. So we, we put in a generic questionnaire for them, which again has worked well. This year going forward, again, we're going to evolve that further. We're going to really break down those job roles so that if you are a quality controller or you're a team leader, you're able to match your skills and have that conversation against the skills required in your job role, not, not as generic as it was. So that's quite exciting. It's going to work really well this year and, and really feed towards the taking more responsibility and the the... The, the feeling of ownership of the job role and again of further ownership of their own engagement and ownership of their own objectives. Employees have quite enjoyed working with the system. At first it was very novel, very, very new and unique um, and most people do like to explore and have a look at, have a look at new things. What they've enjoyed most of all is their ability to be able to manage that themselves. So they can go into the system at any time. And you find that some people use it more than others, but those who do use it, use it well, because it's really easy to use. Um, we've also devised a method in which that people who don't speak particularly good English can work with their managers and do that on a tablet so that they're not having to struggle on their own and, and gain understanding. They're able to work with their manager towards that. The conversations are bigger, but the results are the same, so that they're, they're very engaged and engaged in the system. We decided that we wanted to complement the system with a, a, a better 360 than the one we'd, we'd been using in the past. So we worked with Headlight to create the Talent 360 that actually met the needs of the business. What we built in there was the competencies that we were asking people to align themselves against and to evidence themselves against. We built them into the Talent 360. And so the feedback that we were getting from peers, um, from colleagues, from different people within the organisation, aligned directly and it made sense. So it makes sense of the whole system because they link directly, they're relevant. Um, and and it, it's not for everyone, not everybody uses a 360, but it is there and whatever they choose to do it is very relevant to the roles that they're looking at. I found working with Headlight really easy. They are very good at coming back to me really quickly because when you're working on something in a busy environment you want quick answers. So the, the support function has been excellent. To actually set up we had a lot of training um, and that was good. We were able to set it up as we need it and get that online support when, when we did need that. And everybody we've dealt with really, whether it's looking at the account management, um, the training, the support, are actually putting together our competencies to make the system better for us and make the system more bespoke for us have been great. Really enjoyed working with them.